Hello, Diana here. I was asked by one of my subscribers how you link the bones in Illustrator to prepare them for import into Cartoon Animator 5. I drew this bunny to illustrate what to do. The bones are basically the same as the human bone structure. This is just the basics. No moving toes, fingers, facial movements, etc. I haven't learned that part. It took me long enough just to learn this part. When you join the bones, it helps to set up a pattern that is easy for you to remember. Body to head, then head to head parts. Body to right arm, then right arm to right arm parts. Body to right leg, then right leg to right leg parts. Now repeat steps two and three on the left side. This way the naming structure will become second nature as you do more characters. It became second nature just simply trying to learn it and get it in the right place. Now, once I got it in the right place, then I brought it into Cartoon Animator under Create Character. Gives you this little window, and you can use their templates if you did, or open a file. So then you bring in your SVG file, which is what you save it as, and then you open it and it brings it in. Now I went ahead and I animated it a little bit so I could show you that it did work. And so here's the animation. If you notice, each part works. And so now let's get into how we got this together. So we're going to go back to Illustrator, close this file, and we're going to go to how you set it up. Here's our bunny, but to get this bunny, you have to have all these parts hooked together. Now, I separated them so you could see that they are not just one dot in each area. It's two dots. The right arm is the top dot. Then the bottom dot is the right arm nub. So each one's going to be connected, and I put arrows so you can see how it connects. And then I wrote what it connects to. I'm not going to go through each one one at a time, but I can tell you that the things that I learned is when you name it, you want to put a colon after every name. And then when you get ready to connect the bones, what you're going to do is just add a second colon. So you'd have bone one colon right there, bone two colon, and then in the middle you add that second colon. It's as simple as that or at least it seems, I can tell you this. The key here is to take your time. Because if you miss the spelling on one thing, and it has to be the same spelling in the RL image as it is in the RL bone, they have to be the exact same name. It doesn't seem to matter how you name it. I was able to write it down in all kinds of different ways, but it has to be the same in each one. Left ear to left ear nub, but it has to be the same. If you go here to the left ear, you see it's left ear, exactly the same. And then your left ear nub, those aren't in here because they're not needed. The nubs are just to tell the illustrator, go from that bone to the end of the bone. So it doesn't have to be in your bone structure. The bone structure is just going to be the body, your right arm, right forearm, and right hand. That's all you need in, in the RL image part. So now you start linking them, and if you just follow this little map that I made, I hope it'll help you get the idea of what it's going to take to link everything together. But you have to make sure that you have everything written correctly because I can tell you it took me hours to get this ready and it was because I left out one space or one spelling or one colon and if you leave out one colon it will not import it because it doesn't understand it has to be correct if you learn to connect it in order then it becomes easier as you create more characters I did it this way so that you could just then you could just highlight this and, and bring it back over. Once you've named it and everything and got it ready, then you can select it and bring it over. And then select this and bring it over. Then select this and bring it over. And just match it all until you have it all in one place like this. 
I hope this has helped. If you have any questions, just ask and I'll try to answer them. I'm learning just like you. It took me quite a while to figure this one out. Have a great day. Diana.